to the Waldorf Astoria, Palm Jumeirah. Here you kind of arrive, they've got valet parking here. Uh, you can get taxis as well from the desk. Um, always best to use kind of a Dubai taxi as well rather than the limousines, they're a bit cheaper. We've got two entrances as well, one here and one here. All the doors are automatic as well, which is helpful. And you can check into the left hand side here, also on the right hand side there. Uh, this is the main lobby kind of as you come in. Uh, we were met here with a welcome drink, which is really nice after an eight hour flight. Uh, and despite obviously arriving at eight in the morning and not being able to check in till two, uh, they actually let us check in um, and even gave us breakfast whilst we waited for our room to be prepared. Um, but we were in our room by about quarter past nine that morning. So great service, I'm really happy about that. Uh, and this is where you come down. So you've got Peacock Alley across the back there. Uh, and then you come down here. <clears throat> and this is kind of where um, you've got the Vietnamese restaurant, Lao in the corner there. And this is where breakfast is served, Mesery. They do breakfast, lunch and dinner. So this is the buffet restaurant. And um, coming down here as well, you can get out to the pool and the beach just through these doors. There's also various gift shops and bits and pieces dotted around the hotel. So there's one kind of down here. There's another one up on the on the first floor, just by the lobby. Uh, there's a jewelry store, a uh, shop that sells Waldorf merchandise. And there's also a nightclub in this hotel. Um, I haven't got into it, um, but it's down here in the lower ground. It's called Mirage, opens up at 10 p.m. Uh, and it's just located down the end here. So you see kind of massive doors with a big M on it. Uh, so that's a nightclub within the hotel. Moving on from reception, you've got some shops and bits and pieces down here. It's a jewellery store. Beachwear. Uh, and a Waldorf store as well, which sells off most I think by all the robes and bits and pieces that I've got in the room uh, as well as bags for the beach although the room in the uh, hotel does come with um, does come with a beach bag and then you've got Serafina bar here as well so they have a happy hour between seven to nine each day we can sit inside or out and have music in the evenings as well and this leads you down to the gym and the spa and some more lifts. Uh, but you can book some tours and bits and pieces of desert tours, theme parks, all here within the hotel. The hotel gym is based on the ground floor. Um, so they supply cold waters, cold flannels towels, room temperature bottles of water. Uh, the view's quite nice as well, you can look out to sea. Uh, you get a better view from the treadmills across here. Uh, as you can see, there's lots of cardio equipment, uh, legs, uh, all other kind of machines. You've got dumbbells and weights at the back. So it's a really, really nice gym, with lots of good equipment. Um, some in that area there as well for you to work out on. And as I said, the view here from the treadmills is really, really nice. Let's see if we can get a peek. Um, on a clear day, you can actually see the birds from this last one. Yeah, it's pretty misty out there, but you can see it in the distance. Within the spa, there's uh, lockers, showers, and changing facilities. Uh, locker keys are given to you on arrival. Uh, and inside each locker, uh, there is a robe, a towel, uh, and a small box to put your phone in as well. Um, obviously this is Dubai, so men's and women's are kept separate. Um, as you can see, lots here. Nice body lotions, hand washes, 
scales as well. Uh, there's also some hairspray, deodorant, uh, and loads of showers, so plenty of room here. We kind of come through the spa, and there's a sauna. It's a really, really large sauna, actually. Uh, steam room as well. Water towels and some cold flannels as well. Come down here, there's uh, showers which you can kind of use. Uh, a really, really nice jacuzzi. The temperature of this is, is great. Um, and then you come through to a thermal relaxation room. Um, it's just got lots of different beds. Uh, some are warm and some are cold. Um, but it's a great area, nice and quiet. Um, I've been in this bar a few days now, and every time it's been only me in here, so nice and quiet. Um, the staff also bring you nuts and tea if you wish. Um, uh, but yeah, to use these facilities, it's free to all hotel guests. Um, obviously, massages, etc., are on top of that. Um, but to use the sauna, steam room, jacuzzi. Uh, it's all free to hotel guests. Um, so it's a really nice place to kind of unwind at the end of the day. Uh, so Lau is located next door to Mesery. Uh, it's a Vietnamese restaurant. Uh, they've got both a la carte and full board slash half board menu. Um, it's currently shut at the moment. Opens up at uh, uh, so seven to 11 are the hours of the restaurant. As you can kind of see the rest, the menu is at the front as well. Um, so you've got starters, uh, small dishes, Salads, soups, uh, fish and seafood, meat, uh, lots of side dishes as well, uh, and some kids' options. Um, and then this is the half board set menu. Uh, so you get free courses, uh, appetizers, mains, and desserts. Uh, but also, if you want to eat off the a la carte menu, um, you get 175 dirhams per person to spend on food. And that seems to be the same in uh, the social restaurant as well, which is an Italian restaurant located on the ground floor. Welcome to the breakfast buffet uh, at Misery. Uh, so you've got a gluten-free section here. Uh, loads of bits and pieces as well. It's quite a good selection. Uh, and then kind of desserts, donuts, you can see all those and all this stuff here. More desserts, <laughs> muffins, uh, you've got a whole area for toast here, and there's all sorts of bread and bagels. There's different types of bagels as well. And you've got the chefs kind of preparing some food in the back there. Waffles, which are sauces of peanut butter, uh, Nutella, lots of croissants. These cinnamon buns are amazing. French toast, mini pancakes. Come on to the hot food, so you've got beans, scrambled eggs, usual kind of fry up stuff, hash browns, uh, chicken sausages. They have got pork sessions over the back, I'll show you in a minute. Omelettes, I've been eating these most mornings, really, really nice. Uh, fried eggs, can only imagine how many eggs this place must go through in the morning. More omelettes, uh, it does get quite busy in here, it's been about half nine, half ten. Uh, it's quite quiet at the moment, as you can see. stuff here, some fried rice, got some steamed broccoli as well. And then over here we've got kind of granola, yogurt sort of area. Um, these yogurt pots are actually really, really nice. We have these as well. Cheese. And then you've got some cooked meats, salmon. Uh, they did have some mackerel here yesterday as well. Lots of honey. Fruit selection. And 
then this is the pork section as well, so they keep the pork bacon. And pork sausages, all drinks are made here. Um, but they also have a selection of juices and waters uh, in this middle part here, which is next to the cereals. So once again, you've got some more local cuisine, flatbreads, yeah, lots and lots of juices. So orange juice, pineapple juice, water, uh, lemon and mint, really, really nice. And lots of fruit over the back there. You've got milk, cereals, uh, they've got some fresh juices as well. Get less sugar in those ones if you're trying to be healthy. Um, and then yeah, look, lots and lots of fruit, dates, and salad bits as well. So really nice selection for breakfast. And as you can see, it's quite quiet here in the morning. Uh, this sort of time, it's about eight o'clock, half eight now. Uh, but this will, will get, this will get really, really busy. Uh, but there's plenty of seats. I've never had an issue trying to get sick. Um, and then there's lots of seating outside as well. Uh, it's quite cool this time of year, but nice uh, and then from here obviously leads you out to the pools and this leads you straight to the family pool uh, so there is a small kids pool family pool and an adult pool here uh, I've been sitting mainly by the adult pool just because it's a bit quieter uh, and it's quite a nice pool if you will actually get some swimming in um, so you can see here to the right you've got kind of a little kids area with a few beds around it as well really shallow water uh, they've got magazines and bits and pieces on offer here. You can also buy a suntan lotion. Uh, lots and lots of towels. So the guys are quite happy to give you towels first thing in the morning. Make up your bed for you as well. Uh, as you can see, this is the this is the kids' pool or family pool. It gets quite busy. But you can see the sea as well at the back there. As I said, plenty, plenty of beds. Um, you can eat lunch here as well on these. These little pods, which is quite nice. Uh, I think this place is called Palm Beach or Palm Avenue or something, but these guys do their lunch anyway, and you can get dinner here uh, and late evening drinks. Uh, we've been staying on full board and managed to have lunch here served by the served by the pool, or you can eat in the restaurant. Uh, but it's quite nice just to have it on your sun lounger, and make the most of the sun. Uh, the menu is pretty basic, um, but still nice food. Lots of sandwiches burgers, uh, tacos, a few salads and bits and pieces like that, as you kind of expect by a pool. Uh, and then as you come down here, you kind of end up onto the beach. Water sports, you can get speedboat tours, uh, lots of other bits and pieces as well. Fishing. Um, what else did I do? Yesterday we went out on a paddle board, about 20 pound per paddle board for half an hour. It was good fun. Uh, as you come out here actually is where you got this place this little hut sells um drinks coffees uh, also does uh, nice ice creams as well so you've got a good selection of ice creams i think there's about 15 flavors yesterday when i checked uh, so yeah check this place out you can kind of see they do some nice smoothies as well they're about 35 dirhams each uh, but yeah they're really really nice when the sun kicks up uh, so yeah here we've got the beach as you can see there's lots and lots of beds, lots of brollies, so you don't really need to worry about space, you'll always find a space. Um, the water sports is located just over here. The beach is about 100 metres long, uh, so it's quite a nice walk. You can kind of go all the way over to where that big yacht is in the background. The water sports pop-up is just there. As I said, the uh, paddle boards are about £20 each, you can get kayaks, uh, pedalos um, and if you want to go a bit more extreme you can get jet skis uh, I think about 140 pound for half an hour uh, but the good thing is is you can kind of cruise all the way around uh, so they take you out here you go just past the hotel there into the open ocean <coughs> which is the same side as where the Burj is over here um, you go around for about half an hour the guy will take a picture of you probably outside the Burj on the jet skis um, which is quite good. You see some of the other stuff they offer here. Uh, jet skis, water skiing, mono skiing, tube activities. So they've got the boat out there, that yellow boat. Uh, the islands in the background there are all private. So some really, really nice houses out there. Uh, I checked those out online, they're about 20 million. 
what else have we got here? This is kind of the map that shows you. Uh, so you come out from the departure point and just follow those arrows around so you get past Jamira Beach, uh, you see Burj and come back. So it's quite, it's quite a nice little view. Uh, and then here's the helipad over the back. Uh, I've never actually seen anyone land on this helipad the whole time I've been here. I've been here for a week, so it seems to just kind of sit here empty. Um, but they have got the Royal Suite here, which is up the top there. You can see the big windows. Uh, I think that's about 10 grand a night. 10,000 English, roughly. So I can't imagine people stay there too often, but then this is Dubai, so you never know. <clears throat> um, I think these are private residences here, and you've got another hotel next door, which I think is the Anatara. Um, but yeah, nice beach space, lots to do. Plenty space as well. Uh, if I walk you guys back, so you walk across this, uh, I'll head towards the adult pool and show you that. Uh, this is good as well if you've got kids and they have the guy walk around with a fork and he's been walking around the hotel most days. Morning. Do you come out every day? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so it's quite impressive. So we're a bit further on up the path now. That's obviously the restaurant uh, where you can get lunch and dinner. Um, and then you can come behind that restaurant and this is where the adult pool is. Uh, so up there you can get to the mesery. Um, you kind of come around here and this is the start of kind of the adult area i mean everyone's allowed on the beach so kids families etc um, but from this point onwards here and everything behind this is adults only uh, and the lifeguards have moved people on so i've seen that happen quite a few times actually because um, families have kind of come to sit in this hot tub uh, and the lifeguards have moved them on if they're with kids so you've got a uh, hot tub which is quite a nice temperature it's not as hot as the um, jacuzzi in the spa. The jacuzzi in the spa is really, really warm, really nice. Uh, but you don't want it that hot when you're out here. Um, you've got the stop and start buttons there. Uh, and then this is the adult pool, which is really nice. It's about a meter deep throughout, so you can stand the whole way. Um, but really, really good size. You can get lengths in. Uh, I've been sitting over here on the front, so these, these seats here on the front, you can also kind of walk straight into the pool, so it's quite nice. Um, but you kind of get sun everywhere, so it's not like there's a certain seat, which is my favorite. I'd say they're all pretty good. Um, these ones here on the side get the sun first thing. Um, as you can see, kind of there's a ledge here. So you can walk straight in off these beds, straight into the water, which is really, really nice actually, because when it gets hot, that's just what you want to do. And as I said, that the guys are here to kind of put out the sun beds uh and put towels out for you as well they're quite happy to reserve if you kind of let no one the ones you want <laughs> three four uh, it's a junior suite uh, so slightly bigger than other rooms um, although I'm sure there's much bigger in here um, so you kind of come in a fruit bowl nice mirror and a small toilet as you enter and then you got walk-in dressing room excuse the mess uh, with safe iron um, hair dryer usual sort of stuff um, have got normally two robes kind of sit here as well which you can use the whole time you're staying um, another toilet yeah the shower is absolutely massive so you've got two showers and a waterfall either side so two people can shower at the same time which is quite handy when you get off the beach and you want to get out for dinner quickly uh, his and her sink really really nice bath a TV at the end of the bath as well with the remote 
Um, there is a service which concierge offer where you can kind of have the bath pre-made up, um, all using Neom uh, oils and bits and pieces. So there's kind of a deep sleep one and a revive one. I think it's about 190 dirhams for this service, uh, but certainly worth it if you've got jet lag or you've had a bit of a long day. Coming into the bedroom, we best to come around this way. Uh, so really, really large bed. And um, we've had lots and lots of towel art because we're here for our honeymoon. Um, but yeah, each side's kind of got bedside table, phone, and um, as you can see, there's plenty of space. And we'll kind of move out to the balcony after. Uh, dressing table there as well, and the TV. And come through into the living room. Uh, so there's an office area there. And then once again, uh, big TV. Uh, and then a Wi-Fi speaker as well, a Bluetooth speaker, which you can kind of connect to. Um, Nespresso coffee machine, which I believe has got lots of stuff in here as well, which you can use. Uh, coffee, decaf, different bits and pieces, some wine glasses, and bits and pieces to make tea with. And here you've got the mini bar. Uh, easier to get in uh, so yeah you've got some still sparkling water wine champagne a few beers some soft drinks as well it's quite a good selection in there uh, spa menus and various magazines as well are available uh, this is the seating area we've got more tower art um, but yeah quite nice decor as well and then coming out to the balcony, the balconies in these rooms are really, really nice. Uh, twice the size of, kind of what the normal rooms are. So you've got a seating area this side, uh, and then there's a nice lounge to the other side, which you can also get back into the master bedroom there. And then the view off the top of this, this is room 134. Um, this goes up about five or six floors higher, so you can get a much higher view, should you wish. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see the city out there, the high rises as well. Uh, but still a really, really nice view up here. Uh, you got the palm out there in the distance. What I find funny is, uh, obviously you've got the main family pool there, um, adult pool here, and they seem to have put the kids club behind the adult pool. <laughs> Not sure who designed that. Um, but thankfully, I mean, we've been here one week and haven't had a single thing. Um, so yeah, that's fine. And then obviously it all goes out onto the beach. Mm -hmm.